what's up dear students how are you doing once again i have been here to give you another class after a uh, longer vacation after longer a uh, duration i'm here mohammad allah mal said your english teacher uh, today i'm going to discuss about a very important topic of your english grammar this is voice you know actually voice is such a topic that who is you cannot uh, express you cannot try to cannot uh, actually make any good sense of english language you know voice is already divided in two types one is active voice now that is passive voice this total voice actually um, for understanding or for making sense of voice we have a, a good uh, sound knowledge about verb subject and sentence structure and that's why i'm going to uh, show you what are the exact structures of voice can be voice can be divided into two those are active voice and passive voice you know active voice is stru structurized like subject plus bt that is transitive verb plus object you know transitive verb this topic this term is very mandatory in the case of active voice because when a sentence is using like some voice some active voice it certainly needs a transitive verb because without transitive verb we cannot imagine we cannot think about uh, object and without having an object a, a voice or uh, can never be transform into passive one and that's why a uh, passive voice can be structurized like subject you know object of passive voice can be placed as subject of passive voice object of active voice is placed as a subject of active voice then if there is any auxiliary verb this will be placed here and if there is no auxiliary verb that should not be placed here then b b verb is mandatory you know b verb what are the classifications or what are the genres of b verbs b verbs are like all other verbs b verbs are five in classes five in formats like b verb in present form am is are b verb in past form was were b verb in base form b verb is present form am is here b verb in base form that is b b verb in past form that is was and were b verb in past participle that is been and b verb in present participle that is being so b verb sir like am is here b b was here been and being all sorts of all genres of b verbs are used in passive voice all formats of b verb can be used in passive voice so we should have a very good command good sense about the classifications of b verb so b verb is very mandatory part of passive voice subject plus b verb plus b3 that is past participle form b3 uh, is clear concept is past participle form
that is subject plus v4 plus v3 these are mandatory part of passive voice then after past participle there may be any preposition mostly used here that is by and after by subject of active voice is used, used here as an object okay now we can see here some example of active voice and passive voice how can they be transformed into active to passive like I eat an apple you know I is subject here eat is a VT that is transitive verb and an apple is an object you know here there is no auxiliary verb here in the sentence so there is no question of using any auxiliary verb in the passive format as well so we can transform it as a passive voice what can be the passive voice of this very sentence I eat an apple you know an apple this object will be placed in the passive voice as an subject that is an apple would be written at the very first time now we will have to find whether is there any auxiliary verb there is no auxiliary verb then the then the question of v verb comes here certainly v verb will be used here you know as it is assertive sentence and as it is used in present different tense so we will we can use here am or is or are you know as subject is third person singular number then the question of using of people should be is and are an apple is singular so in singular subject here is will be used an apple is then the comes the question of using verb you know it the v3 of it that is past participle of it is eaten an apple is eaten an apple is eaten now the question comes of using preposition normally we use here by an apple is eaten by here the subject is I the subject of active voice would be used as an object at the passive voice so I should be used in passive format yeah, objective format I would be transformed into me then what the sentence turned I eat an apple is written here in passive science passive voice as an apple is eaten by me so we can uh, write here some more examples like okay if the sentence is written like he like this he eats and apple like the previous sentence certainly an apple should be used here an apple is eaten by him as the subject of active voice is he the objective form of he should be written like him so the exact sentence would be an apple is eaten by him so that's all for today as because your class is going to be so short so uh, little uh, we certainly try our best to give you another very animated uh, very uh, bright class you know next time okay bye